Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another tutorial that is more for me than you all, but it's going to help you regardless. For anybody who's actually wondered about how you could get your traditional sketch scanned and put into Photoshop, and then uh, how you could take the white background and be able to draw under the sketch, here is the video for you. I'm going to show you three ways to do it. The preferred way that I learned how to do it, the professional way, quote unquote, and then a uh, very rough and raggedy way but it still helps you get the job done so I have two sketches that we're actually going to use for both example well, all three examples and we're gonna start with this one and we're gonna start with number one which is the preferred method because once I show you how to do it it's gonna be very easy so firstly since you got I'm assuming that you already took a picture of your drawing and you have it scanned and already put into Photoshop so now all you need to do is firstly go to layers over here on this side you right click and click layer from background my thing comes over here so yes you're gonna make layer zero I always recommend that you make a second copy just in case now we have our main sketch that we want to actually turn into a digital sketch we're gonna go to select color range and here we have the color range that we need to select so the trick here is to select the white of the paper and you see how in this little thumbnail it changes just a little bit if you were to select the line work or the sketch it's going to be able to it's going to cut out that line work itself so we want to make sure that this is all white and it selects the white of the paper for this fuzziness be sure to keep this at least between 100 and 110 so 105 is about right and for you, you can always uh, experiment with it if it doesn't come out in the right way that you want. Always be sure to come back and just mess with the fuzziness a little bit. So zero is the entire line work, and basically. So 105 is best for me. So I'm going to click 105. So now that we have the entire line work, well, the white area selected, we're going to push the backspace button and then boom. And then control D if you're on PC and now you have your sketch we're not done yet now all I did here was just make another background for color and I'm gonna switch to my brush Ooh, that's the same color let's give it a blue and now you are able to draw right under I drew on the layer actually now you're able to draw right under the sketch and you're able to color it like I said this is going to be the preferred way to actually do this and I highly recommend that you honestly do it this way because it is going to be super simple but overall there are two other ways now on to the second method which is apparently the more professional method but for me it's just a little bit more tedious all right to get started just make sure that your background is a layer and we're gonna go ahead and just copy that one now for the trick here we need to make this entire thing grayscale so we're going to go to image mode and then grayscale it helps everything uh, get selected properly all right now we're going to go to the channels layer which is right there okay before we go there it's right here so before we go there we're going to select this layer with control A and then control C to copy. Then we're gonna go back to the channel section. We're going to make a new alpha layer. And then in this black void, we are going to paste what we just had. And that is that simple. Now we're gonna deselect with control D and then click create new selection here. And this uh, actually selects uh, everything around the line art so what we need to do is go to select and then inverse that selection which is going to help us a little better let's click uh, create a new layer be careful with uh, clicking on this area because you may end up uh, causing a red coloring error which just messed up like 20 minutes of my recording so so now we're going to click a color actually we're going to click black just to see if that one works 
So basically you need to click the color to actually have the layer selected. So now, boom. And we should be good. So now what are we gonna do? We are going to deselect with Control D. We're going to do that. And let's give a white background for this. And then boom. Now we have the layer selected, well, selected. Actually, yes, we have the layer selected and also separated. So, uh, slight issue here, and I don't know if just I've never been able to solve it, but when you do have your colors in, when you do have your colors selected, oh yeah, forgot, hold on. Now, in order to actually get back to coloring, you need to go back to image mode and then RGB color, don't merge. And now we are actually a go for coloring. There we go. The problem here is that the colors are just a little muted, just like how they will end up in the third method, which is not the worst thing in the world because you can always just go ahead and turn the layer off to get the full colors or even turn the opacity down and get some color out of that. So it's not the worst situation in the world to have, but it is another method in which you can isolate your sketches from your traditional work and put them into your digital art. So that is method two. That is the, again, professional way, but I call it the pain in the butt way. With that being said, let's just go ahead and move on to method number three. And for the third and final method, which is just the down and dirty method, like I said earlier, um, basically, you're going to take we're actually uh, at the first image again it's going to take very it's going to take no time at all first uh, again copy the layer that you already had and now we're going to make invisible that bottom layer we're going to move the background layer that we already made early which is just a solid color we're going to make that visible and now all you need to do have your layer selected for the sketch Go to blend mode and go to multiply or darken. So now, there we go. This is a down and dirty, simple way to do all of it. I say that because depending on which blend mode that you select, it may or may not be like the best way to do it. So now we are back at normal, darken, multiply color burn oh yeah feel free to go through all these to see which one works best for you you still are going to be working with a fully opaque uh, page so if you still want to isolate the layers uh, isolate the line work it's still going to be best if you go with the first method or even the second method to actually have everything at your disposal also, using the different blend modes under the layer is going to make your colors not be as accurate. So this is a very bright blue, but when you have the darken layer, everything looks darker. Now, that's actually kind of appropriate, but that is up to you overall for which method that you uh, want to really use. I gave you three of them, and you're very welcome. So. With all that being said, feel free to drop a like, comment on which method is your favorite, and tell me which one that you actually knew about using uh, beforehand watching this video, because I knew about Multiply, and that was really it. And every time I needed to uh, do this, isolate the line work of something, I always had to uh, go watch a tutorial, and I kept forgetting how to do it. So yeah, with all that being said, Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you all later.